Hi, this is Dr. Mamie Dong, and on behalf of my co-authors at the University of California, San Diego, I'd like to tell you about our paper, Age-Related Decline in Serum Alanine Aminotransferase, a prospective cohort study. ALT is frequently used as a marker for hepatocyte injury. Traditionally, age has been considered to have no effect on ALT levels, but studies done over the past decade have yielded conflicting results. In a previous study, we showed that older age was associated with lower ALT levels. However, that study, along with others on the same topic, was cross-sectional in nature, with potential for survivor bias. Here we conducted a longitudinal analysis of participants from the Rancho Bernardo study cohort. This cohort was established in 1972 and comprises 82% of residents from the Southern California suburban community. From this population, we selected two sub-cohorts based on available ALT data. Cohort 1 consists of 1,073 participants with data from two visits, and Cohort 2 consists of 416 participants with data from three visits. We collected data on demographics, medical history, diet, anthropometrics, blood pressure, and obtained blood samples for serum ALT, bilirubin, albumin, glucose, and lipids. Baseline characteristics for Cohort 1 are shown here. The mean age was 66 during the first visit and 74 during the second. As age increased, so did BMI, waist-hip ratio, systolic blood pressure, total cholesterol to HDL ratio, triglycerides, bilirubin, and prevalence of diabetes. Serum albumin decreased, as did the number of participants who drank moderate to heavy amounts of alcohol. For cohort 2, the mean age was 69 during the first visit, 78 during the second, and 82 during the third. As with cohort 1, increasing age was associated with worsening metabolic traits and with decreased serum albumin and alcohol use. Now coming to the main study question, we found that ALT did in fact decrease with increasing age. In cohort 1, the mean ALT decreased from 23 to 19 in men and from 19 to 18 in women over this nine-year period. A similar trend was seen in Cohort 2, with a fall in mean ALT from 20 to 18 in men and from 19 to 15 in women over this 14-year period. These trends remain significant after exclusion of the 5 to 7 percent of participants with a self-reported history of chronic liver disease and after multivariate adjustments for sex, BMI, blood pressure, alcohol use, waist hip ratio, diabetes, fasting glucose, total cholesterol to HDL ratio, and triglycerides. Furthermore, after additional adjustments for two commonly used surrogates of liver function, bilirubin and albumin, the trend of decreasing ALT with age remained highly significant. When we looked at the prevalence of elevated ALT, defined as greater than 30 for men and greater than 19 for women, we found that this also decreases significantly with age in both cohorts. What could be the cause of this decreasing ALT with increasing age? Perhaps the prevalence of liver disease is decreasing. However, our data shows that the metabolic syndrome becomes more prevalent with increasing age, and thus non-alcoholic fatty liver disease should increase as well. The true prevalence of chronic liver disease in our population is not known but exclusion of those with self-reported liver disease did not change the results. Moderate to heavy alcohol consumption did decrease with increasing age, and this may reduce the ALT levels. However, multivariate adjustments controlling for metabolic syndrome factors and alcohol use did not change the results. Thus, the trend of decreasing ALT is not explained by these factors alone. Maybe the ALT is a reflection in the decrease of mass or function of the aging liver. This is supported by the observation that albumin decreases and bilirubin increases with age. However, again, multivariate adjustments controlling for these factors do not change the results. Perhaps ALT is a biomarker of aging and independent of liver function. In conclusion, we have shown that ALT decreases with increasing age for both men and women, independent of metabolic syndrome components, alcohol use, and other markers of hepatic function. When interpreting ALT levels, the physician should take into account the patient's age, particularly in the elderly.